Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am gonna be doing a little get ready with me using all natural and organic skincare and makeup products. Um, some of the products I'm gonna be using, I already personally use and love, but I also got a few new goodies, which I'm gonna test out with you guys today. So I'm really excited about that. And this video is in collaboration with Faux Lane. And if you don't know who they are, they are a clean natural beauty retailer. They carry so many of my favorite brands, RMS Beauty, Kira Weiss, Josh Rosebrook, Indie Lee, the list goes on. And I really love Folene as a company. They are very strict with what they sell on their website. I was reading that they get to test out thousands of products, but only about 10% make the cut to be sold on their website. They only sell really high quality products with sort of a luxury feel, and they have over 30 restricted ingredients. So you know what you're buying from them is gonna be safe and sort of the best of the best of natural makeup and skincare. So if you follow me on Instagram about a month ago, I posted about the skincare quiz that I took from Folane and it's really easy. It's just a little quiz on their website. It takes about less than a minute to fill out. You just answer a few questions about your personal skin type and then they recommend you a few products that would work with your skin type. So they recommend a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, and kind of like a treatment specialty product. So I'll just show you what I got. I got the OC Ocean Cleanser and this is a really lovely cleanser. I would definitely buy it again. It was a surprising find for me. Um, it has seaweed, lots of beautiful oils, and I love the frosted glass packaging. It feels very luxurious, and you get five ounces of product, which is a good amount. So that will last you for a while. And then I got the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator and I've been interested in this product for a while. It has lots of really nice oils and aloe vera and different extracts in it and you just use that as a toner. Kind of hydrates your skin before applying serums and moisturizers. And then I got the Indie Lee squalene oil. This is just made from olives. It's just 100% squalene oil and actually I can put a few drops on. It has a really nice texture. It's not too greasy. It just kind of hydrates the skin really nicely. And then for the treatment product, I got the Ursa Major Vitamin C Brighten Up Serum. And I've been really into vitamin C serums because, well, vitamin C is really good for promoting collagen and lightening up pigmentation. So, you know, having intense acne before, I was left with um, some indents and uneven skin tone. It's harder to see on camera because, well, I have lights and everything, but I definitely do have acne scars. And my period blessed me this month with a few new acne scars, so yeah. So you can take the skincare quiz yourself by just clicking the link down below. And you can also get 15% off your first purchase plus free shipping by using the code HOLISTICHABITS15. So I got to go through their website and just pick out a few items that I wanted to try. Uh, so of course, I had to choose the Josh Rosebrook sunscreen. This is the Nutrient Day Cream SPF 30. And I have been wanting to try this for a while because I know it has really rave reviews. Last year, I was thinking of trying it, but I ended up getting the Suntegrity one. This one is definitely a luxury sunscreen. So I have to read you some of the ingredients because they are too good. Um, it has aloe vera leaf juice, shea butter, zinc oxide. They use non-nanoized zinc oxide as their sunscreen. Um, evening primrose oil, hemp seed oil, barrage seed oil, sea buckthorn seed oil, olive fruit, olive oil, almond. Okay, the list goes on and on. Just lots of really beautiful oils and extracts. And it's actually a moisturizer and a sunscreen. So it comes in a nice glass bottle like this. And I'm just gonna put one pump on. I've been using this the past week. 
and dare I say that it is my holy grail sunscreen. Um, I want to do a video kind of testing out different natural uh, sunscreens and give my comparison. But what I like about this one is it feels really lightweight on the skin. It smells really nice. It's a very faint smell, nothing overpowering. But I love, I love the smell. And maybe I'll look in the mirror to make sure I'm blending this in right. And it doesn't leave a white cast on me, which is very important for a sunscreen. My skin is pretty fair, so even if it does leave a bit of a white cast on me, it kind of works almost like a like a foundation. So I don't mind if it's a bit lighter, but this doesn't leave any weird white cast. I think it would work for deeper skin tones as well. Maybe there's some reviews on that, but it just feels really light on the skin. It's the product that I am most excited about today. Just that I found a really nice sunscreen. It's 60 mils, comes in a nice glass pump jar. And I just love it. I just love it so much. So now my skin is protected from the sun. So I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm gonna be using a little bit of a luxury foundation today. So this is the Kier Weiss foundation. But what's really cool about this brand is they're very kind of eco-friendly. So when you buy the foundation or any of their products, even their lipsticks and blushes, they come in a really nice stainless steel packaging. And then once you're done with it, they have refills, so you don't have to buy the packaging again, so you can save some money and buy the refills. It just comes in a little paper thing like this, and you just pop the old one out, put the new one in, and yeah, you just buy refills from that point on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with a damp sponge, like a beauty blender. Um, and I really recommend that you have a well exfoliated skin before applying this foundation because it will um, show dead skin cells and stuff. So that's just a word of caution, but that is like with any foundation. I just seem to have that problem. Um, so I'm just going to go apply this. And you can see it's very full coverage. Like it just conceals everything. So if you are looking for a full coverage foundation, this this might be perfect for you. And I'm using the shade Silken, which is for light, fair to light skin tones with yellow undertones. And it is a bit too yellow for me, but the other shades are too pink. It's kind of nice to use the warmth of your fingertips to apply this, or you can use a foundation brush. You know, the first couple times I worked with this foundation, I found it to be a bit tricky because it does have more of a matte finish, which is quite rare in a cream foundation. Um, so a tip I have is to really make sure your skin is well moisturized before applying this foundation. It helps it go on a bit better. I make sure that I have kind of a light hand as well because it is very full coverage and it can have the tendency to look cakey if you put too much on. So I start with a sheer layer and then I build it up if I need more coverage. But I like my skin to look like skin, you know? I really don't like the look of having a mask. And then I'm just gonna conceal under the eye as well with the same product. Again, make sure your under eye is really well moisturized and there's no dead skin because it will cling to the dead skin. And with this foundation, I find that you don't really need to set it with a powder because it already has more of a matte finish. So I'm just going to skip powder today. Again, the color match isn't 100%. As long as I really blend it in, I think it looks good. But another one that I got from Folain that I'm not using today is the Well People Foundation Stick. And I wanna know, have any of you guys tried this? Um, I didn't use it in this video because I got the shade 
foundation number two for fair golden skin, but I felt like it was a bit too orangey on my skin. So I felt like the Kier Weiss one was a bit more of a match. And this one was really sheer, but you know, this is less expensive than the Kier Weiss one. So that might be a better option for you if you don't want to spend a lot of money on foundation. Speaking of foundation matches, one thing that I really love about Folane is they have the best return policy. So if a shade doesn't work for you, a skincare product doesn't work out for you, you can get a full refund in the form of store credit and you can find something else that you love. So that just goes to show that they really stand behind their products and they want their customers to be happy so that means a lot to me now i'm going to move on to brows which is probably my favorite part of makeup because it just transforms the face when you have a good brow uh, so i'm going to be using the jane iridel iridel i say iridel um pure brow and this little product brings back so many memories this was the first natural brow product I ever tried and I am the shade blonde and a little tip with this um, go really light handedly because it can really build up fast just holds those hairs in place <gasps> what did I do what did I do Phew. So that kind of just spruces up the eyebrows a bit. And I thought I would do kind of a bronzy golden eye today using the RMS Beauty Eye Polish in Solar. Look how beautiful that color is. It's so dreamy. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit with my fingertip. I don't even use a brush or anything. I've used brushes before, but I find the finger works best. I just kind of blend that in. And I do have a problem with creasing with the eye polishes because I do have oily lids. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of translucent powder to try and help with that. Now we can do some mascara and I'm really excited to try this Ilia mascara because it has rave reviews and the wand looks so cool. It has like different lengths of bristles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my lashes today. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this mascara and apply it to my eyelashes. Wow. You guys, what the heck? Holy moly, have I just found a new favorite mascara? This really, really lengthens the lashes. Holy moly, that really lengthened my eyelashes. I don't even think I wanna do the bottom I'm gonna use the other side for the bottom. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna be using the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek in the shade Promise. And just like the eye polish, it has very minimal ingredients, just in a base of coconut oil, things like that. And I originally wanted the shade Modest, but they were all sold out. So they sent me Promise instead, which is described as kind of a salmon pink with a golden shimmer in it. So I actually think it worked out for the better because that little bit of golden shimmer will go nicely with the golden eye look. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers and a little goes a long ways. So you want to be really, really um, light handed with it and then you can build, build it up. But I start with just the slightest bit. I mean, those lip to cheeks will last you for ages. I don't think I'll ever run out. The more I look at it, the more I think the foundation is a bit too yellow for me. So that kind of just gives me a little bit of a glow. And then I'm going to apply it to my lips as well.
That's just kind of a pretty color. That's better. And I might even just take a little bit of the eye polish under the eye right here. So that is the finished look. I'm gonna go put my bangs down and then we can see the whole look together. So I just went and styled my bangs and put my hair in a braid to finish off the look. I had so much fun getting ready with you guys today and playing around with all the products. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.